and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to understand the life cycle of a flowering plant. So, number one, it starts with the seed. So the life cycle of a flowering plant always starts with a seed being planted in the ground, so under the mud. And you can see here I've done a little picture of some mud in purple and some seeds being planted. So number one starts with the seed, we plant it in the ground. So seed is planted into the ground. Number two, in order for that seed to grow, it needs a few things. So it needs sunshine. See my little sunshine here. It needs water from the rain. It needs air, which is all around us, and it needs nutrients from that mud. So it has to have all of those things for that seed to be able to grow into that beautiful flower and sprout. So again, let's go through things it needs. It needs sunshine, it needs water, it needs air or oxygen, and it needs nutrients, so the food that's in that mud. The next phase is called germination. See whether you can say that, germination. And this is when the seed gets the sunshine, the water, the air, the nutrients. It has all of those things in abundance and therefore starts to grow. And you can see on my picture here, it's gone from the seeds here to it's sprouting up. And there's a lovely little picture here to show it's sprouting. So instead of just having that seed in the ground and growing the roots, it starts to sprout up above the mud. So again, it needs the sunshine, the air, the water and the nutrients. And when it's got enough of that, it begins to sprout and grow. And that's called germination. The next phase is called reproduction. See whether you can say that reproduction and this is when the plant has grown fully and it's time to start to reproduce so that new plants can be grown so you can see that full plant there so that's reproduction so the plant is fully grown and it's ready to reproduce with baby seeds the next stage which you can see here is called pollination so in this stage in order for the fully grown plant to reproduce it must combine the baby seeds with pollen from another plant. And it does that usually by using insects. So for example, bees will pick the pollen up on their legs or on their bodies at some point. That's that yellow bit that's usually in the flower, the pollen bit. And they do that whilst they're collecting nectar from the flower. Then they leave the pollen behind on new plants. And that pollen on that new plant then joins with the baby seed to create a new plant. So quite a difficult process. So the next stage, like I said a little bit earlier, is that when that bee leaves that pollen behind, it joins together with the baby seed. And that therefore is called fertilisation. And it means the seed is ready to become a new plant on its own. So that bee has left its pollen behind, it joins with the baby seed of the plant, and now it's ready to become its own plant. And we call that fertilisation. So the joining of the baby seed and the pollen that's been left behind by the bee. The final process is called seed dispersal. See if you can say that, seed dispersal. And that's where that baby seed and pollen are together. And now that seed is gonna be put somewhere else. So for example, it's gonna be moved away from that plant. So at the minute that baby seed and the pollen are together in one plant, ready, they've just been fertilized and now it's ready for them to be dispersed and that seed to go into the ground again, just like at the beginning. So we call that seed dispersal. So before it can grow on its own, that seed then needs to be moved and it's usually moved by wind. So the wind blows that seed away back into the mud and allows it then to grow by water so if it rains a lot we can get lots and lots of water and that then means that that seed is dispersed and can go elsewhere or by birds or other animals so it's called seed dispersal that's where that seed that's in that fully grown plant that's ready it's fertilized gets thrown away somewhere else and goes into the mud again and after that stage we start at the beginning again so in the seed dispersal that seed has gone elsewhere it's moved and then we go back to the beginning. The seed is then planted in the ground. It needs sunshine, it needs wind, it needs air, it needs nutrients to be able to grow. We go into the germination stage again. That's when it starts to sprout once it's got all of those things. 
then it's ready to reproduce so it's got those baby seeds and then we have pollination where the bees bring the pollen when they're trying to collect nectar from other plants they leave it behind and then we have fertilization where that pollen joins with the baby seeds and they're ready to fertilize and then we have seed dispersal where again that wind that water the birds the other animals move that seed away they move it away from the main plant and then we're back around again so that is the life cycle of a plant thank you